fixed the car good. Finally, yeah? Yeah. We, we planned it a few weeks ago and Not it didn't happen. <laughs> so here we are in uh, Santa Barbara. Actually, this is Goleta, I think it's called. Goleta, yes. And uh, we're going to drive the new uh, Hyundai Ioniq. Right, and there's three different Three of them, so we're going to be busy. We got the plug-in, <laughs> we got the hybrid, we got the EV. Which, the electric. Right, so. which is going to be California only. But we're on the, we're driving the hybrid first. We're gonna drive for like a few hours, like maybe five hours or so. So we're gonna be sharing all the our initial all, thoughts. Yeah. And um, my first thing is, with this car is, or this company actually is, because this is a company that is called, I mean, like the parent company owns Hyundai and Kia. Well, right, half and half, half a Kia, half yeah, exactly. a Hyundai. It's Korean government actually. Exactly. And uh, we just went to San Antonio to drive the Nero which is the version of this car in the Kia brand the competitor and they like don't even talk about it no they <laughs> if very, you bring very it up little. they go oh no yeah. well the Kia is, is more of a compact crossover yeah. where this is definitely a yeah. sedan and a hatchback essentially and you, can, you have to say that Hyundai has done much more about it and well, it's about sustainability it, exactly that's, so, that's their big picture whether you like that or not yeah, that, that, that's, that's the thing. That's I mean, the, uh, the sales they were telling us. I mean, we know this. Uh, we know this from the industry. The, we're going to make the a lot of fair view. Okay, the um, total sales car. of electric plug-in hybrids, hybrids, it's like less than three percent in the market. It's like two point four percent, and it's dropping. And they're still making more models. Do you know but, why? Well, because that's the way it's going to be in the well, 2025 and beyond. Well, let me tell you the real truth behind it. In the state of California, you cannot sell, sell your vehicle your cars, yeah. if you sell more than 2,000 units of anything. So it could even be a Ferrari, which is never going to happen. Yeah. Well, uh, 2,000 maybe. <laughs> but mm, they wish. Yeah. Uh, they sold 800 more Ferraris, but that's yeah. a whole other story. But you cannot sell your vehicle in the state of California unless you offer a plug-in and an electric version and that's how they got you and if you don't sell yeah. enough you have to buy Zev credits who's got extras exactly yeah. Tesla has extras because they get seven Zev All credits of them, yeah, exactly. seven for every car they sell Hyundai and everyone else only get four so and, they don't uh, have enough exactly so this is their first hybrid from Hyundai and it's kind of funny because uh, Toyota mm -hmm. just celebrated 10 million hybrid sold cars since they launched the, yeah, Prius, the Prius like the January 31st so it's I mean I don't know if it's better to be late in the game is it was better for Toyota to start I don't know I think this car from what we heard it's pretty good so we're gonna try it and we'll we'll find more about it uh, after we drive okay okay <laughs> So um, here we are the first few miles driving the Ionic and as, as we were saying before um, we were in San Antonio driving the Kia and one of the executives, I'm not going to name names, mm -hmm. they call it the Ironic and I don't know why, I, I, I kind of <laughs> oh, enjoy it's a jealousy. the yeah. way they, yeah. they fight with each other but I, I have to give it to Hyundai, I mean the way they presented the car to this morning they're very humble about it, they, take, they took, took their time more than 11 years to develop yeah. these and you now, right? yeah, and they, they have achieved the most efficient car on the road now uh, for this segment at least. And it's pretty interesting. I think it's going to do well. No, what do you think? I think it's going to do well too. I mean, it's obviously they're running for North American Car of the Year. Last year was the Chevy Bolt EV. And so there's, you know, it happened to be the timing was right. They didn't run up against it. But, exactly. But as far as from a, uh, a standpoint of safety, they've got all the safety. And you know, this will have high crash test ratings. The best fuel economy in the industry. Um, I think the leasing thing is interesting. Interesting, yeah. They're gonna... If you lease the car, you get free maintenance to 50,000 miles, free battery changes for right. life. Free recharging. Free recharging through charge point. But what I find interesting, on the flip side, if you buy it, and he did say that, you had to really listen. If you buy it, you don't get the maintenance. I know. What the heck is that all about? Well, they, because when They're you listen, the lease. they own the car. They want right. to have it in a good shape when they get it back. Right, so. and they also say unlimited mileage. I'm thinking, okay, but you're really only limited to how much you can charge. 
charge a day. So oh, yeah. you can go, let's well, say you can go 80 miles and you find a high speed charger that's 24 yeah. minutes to get 84%. And then you can go only another and, you know, and that's, 80 that's miles. That's the point with uh, electric hybrid, more electric than hybrid cars, because hybrid cars you still have the gas engine and the plug in hybrid too. But with electric cars, I mean, people get the anxiety before, before they even drive the yeah. car. And uh, it's, it's real. People don't drive more than 40 miles in average every day. So this car, the electric is gonna get 100 and what, 32, I think? Yeah. And uh, so. MPGE. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's more than enough for the daily driver, but Depends, people yeah. still get anxious about it. Uh, you know what? I'm plugging in my phone, my iPad, exactly. my, laptop, it's the same thing. my watch, my ear pods. <laughs> you, know, you know, everything. I got four things I charge every night. The last thing I wanna do is add another. It's like for women, it's adding another routine. You've washed <laughs> off your makeup. Now it's not just hitting the toner and the moisturizer. You gotta add the, exactly. the, the this and the, the that and this and, and you know and then a mask. It's like but Lauren, that's that's the way we're that's a, how it's changing. That's the way it's gonna be. To the exactly. Cord. I mean, with induction charging, eventually. I mean, we got where's our little free, free phone? Free of charge. Here? I was just gonna say, here's our free phone. Yeah. Yeah. Very thin. Yeah. iPhone 10. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna, nah, be, not even that. gonna be this thing. <laughs> but but that, the, the cool thing is that yeah. you can put it here and it right. will charge it. And it's got the Hyundai app, and you can do the Blue Link and get all the Blue Link connections, and you can download the app to your phone for free, and so you can see the charging. And so that's the whole idea. Plenty of charging outlets, but you know, I still look at plug-ins and hybrids as to produce these vehicles as a larger carbon footprint. I know. What's going on with these batteries? To charge them too, because right. the most of the cool. energy comes from. Uh, Cold. Fossil, uh, uh, Fossil fuel is cold, yeah. right? And then on the flip side of that, so now you've got all these batteries that they've changed for free for the life of the vehicle because you decide you own it, you love it, you want to keep it. Then what are those things? There, there's no place, there's no recycle for them. The person who's the next person to make a billion dollars is the person that comes up with a solution. That may be you. Yeah. And maybe you, <laughs> I want to know. Um, they, well, they so, some some uh, I guess Toyota and GM has a claim that they can reuse them as like charger for hospitals, but only for, for schools, so long. For so long, so like then what? Then what? But I mean, that's another problem. Well, there's that's... cadmium, mercury, lithium, and this is part of what I think is very short-sighted about this. And this is from the Obama administration, so we don't know what the current administration is going to want. The new EPA guy is a fossil fuel guy. Yeah, he may say, you know what? There's no more tax credits, and I don't know how that's going to impact. The small two percent of cars that actually sold today, buy these yeah. cars and people that buy them don't typically go back and buy another one i know the it's, majority it's, it's of them a, don't it's a, a tough uh, proposition but they anyway the tech, they exactly we, we already talked about that but like the technology is pretty amazing i have to say i mean the cars like the technology is great here yeah. and you can see i mean we're driving here 75 miles an hour pretty not a lot of noise the it, car it nice looks job. like a normal, actually good looking car, if I have to say. Uh, all the technology, all the safety technology, all the, I mean, it's pretty comfortable. And the great thing about Hyundai and actually Kia also, I mean, the value proposition is really good because the price, the basic price for the hybrid, it's only like 22,000. I mean, that's well, pretty impressive. Well, but if you load it up, you're at 36. No, I know. 36, but then you get the federal incentives and all that, so it's below 30, so it's like within 33, the competition. 33, I think it came in at, yeah, it depends so on your tax bracket. It's within the competition, so overall I think it's a it's a pretty good uh, project that they have developed. And no, by only today. one negative, Okay. there's no lumbar on the passenger seat, and everybody laughs, <laughs> who, what else is new? But no, really, I mean, you're sitting there, so I'm that's sitting why. here, there's no lumbar, you get the lumbar. Yeah, I know, but that's a way car manufacturers start like well, cutting cuts somewhere here right. and there, here there, but. We'll check out the limited edition that's fully loaded. I that may that. have all the goodies. Okay. And also they got that updated um, air conditioning too, so it's not putting a drain on the electric system, which is smart. So there's a lot of, lot of cool stuff in this car. They really oh, one more thing that they have is this uh, GPS system is set up to aid the powertrain to know where we're going. And technically, if the car will teach you how to drive more efficiently and actually... If you want to drive more efficiently. Yeah, exactly. I know. I don't. But the technology, helps, the technology <laughs> helps you do it. Right. Exactly. That's no, great. Big 8-inch screen, too. It's pretty yeah. impressive. Hey, Javier. What the heck? <laughs> Lauren, this is a... Uh, Checking the reclinability exactly. of the seat. <laughs> well, this is part of a test drive, and I think more people should do it. Sleep in because, a passenger seat? <laughs> well, 
Uh, first of all, <laughs> you don't you don't probably don't notice it, but I have a really bad cold today, so I don't feel that good. But actually, it's part of the test run because uh, the car is so quiet. And the, and the smooth and, roads. And smooth roads, like you can really, really take a good nap there, which yeah. I just did for a few minutes. And, uh, but that t that tells you a lot of uh, another good quality of this car. I mean, it's a small car, it's considered a compact car. Right, but it like, doesn't feel like a compact. Look at that. I mean, like, it I has can a go size. all the way down. It's got really? like mid sized feel to <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. So, not a bad car at all. Of course, that my manual seat on the passenger side. Well, but I mean, again, uh, Kia Nero is the same thing. Yeah, what uh, we were talking about before is that uh, car companies cut try corners. to focus, uh, cut corners, and try to focus on the driver. Right. And uh, lumbar on the passenger side, on the yeah, driver side. You can yes. suffer for a little bit. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Well, depends on your back. Exactly. Absolutely. For me, driver side much more comfortable. Yeah. The one thing I did notice, I always say number one is seating comfort that's priority and then number two is visibility so visibility wise is great but one thing i think this car looks so cool from the back end with that wing it almost looks like a from the outside <laughs> right now it looks like a veloster but from the inside i'm going this is like in the way so for me because i like to know what's going on around me i'm just like this the last vehicle i saw like that i think was an aztec and we yeah. know what happened to that i know but this one i think Part of that bar is because the spoiler goes on that. Right. So I, it's I kind get of it. they don't form want to function, but right. But they're trying not to limit the visibility because then it gives you yeah. visibility below. You can see the roadway, and above you can see cars behind you. But with the wing in the back, and the wing does make it cool looking. So there's got to be another way to do it so it's not so obstruction of your I vision. Um, but as far as all the controls, I, I like them all. They're easy to use. They're very intuitive. I like the power charging and the multiple outlets and USB connections and the little tray here in the center console for your uh, yeah for your iPad. Like or I say, your this is an iPad. It can go in here. Yeah, it can go straight up. Yeah, or that's pretty cool. I mean, this is taller paperwork. than an iPad. Yeah, it, well, exactly. paperwork for sure. We all have stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You know? So they 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 find clever ways to put things. For example, right. this little space pockets. here. Yeah, yeah nice little they can pockets. Have something there like. Well, we all do that. You get your sunglasses, you get your change, you get your gum, or if you're a woman, your lipstick, or whatever it is. So from all that, I mean, this is great. And of course, it's got the Hyundai Blue Link, which I think is really good. I know. So this is the regular hybrid. Right. After lunch, you're going to drive the, the plug-in hybrid and, and the electric. So we're going to complete Right, which is a hybrid. Drive. There's a hybrid blue, which is supposed to get like Well, the 50. hybrid blue is a version of this one, but it gets like the most... Uh, Fuel economy. Fuel economy because of the tires, because of this weight and all that. And actually, officially, it had a really cool demonstration there mm -hmm. and how they build actually a tire just for this car. Mm -hmm. And it's very impressive because yeah. most people don't know, but 20% of the energy that it's sent from the engine to the tires is lost right. through friction, heat, and all that. So this tire is uh, was a uh, low rolling resistant, exactly. Right? And like they have this test in which they bounce this ball with the component that goes to the tire and the one that it doesn't have like bounces back really high and the other one just stays there which tells you that absorbs the energy and uses right. it to move the car which is pretty amazing. And they don't use oils as much, they use a lot of dandelion oil and other other natural things just like there's uh, volcanic ash in yeah. here and sugar cane, a lot of bamboo. I know a lot of the seat manufacturers use those recycled you know, water bottles like we all have these water wow. bottles here. They recycle them and they turn them into the insulation for the doors as well as the cushioning yeah. in the seats. Hopefully not this one because this one is cool. <laughs> it is really cool. Looks, I feel like I'm drinking liquor. A little, uh, a little vodka. <laughs> a little, right. And driving, not. Um, the sunroof, we have it closed for, for lighting purposes, but it, you know, it's, it's okay size. I'd like to see a bigger one. But yeah. um, And the headliner, the yeah. material is... is it's, it's kind of funky. I think it's bamboo, just because it feels it, it feels, feels very natural, yeah. fibrous, yeah, exactly. you know, like paper almost. Right. But obviously very resistant. Right. So and, we're almost there for the, the lunch stop, and then we're gonna come back and uh, do the. Yeah, and one other thing that, that okay. bothers me is lane change departure, which is a standard feature pretty much in a lot of cars. There's a visual, which is good. It's in the mirror. It, yeah. it tells you. But the audible, I think, would be nice if you could adjust. It's just a touch too loud for me. You go to change lanes and someone's there. Or you put I your maybe in I'm going to disagree with you there because okay. I think the both things, the combination of things is what really catches your attention. Because 
Only I the guess if it there. pays attention when you're driving, which <laughs> I tend to be the, you know. Okay. But the steering wheel's great, everything. I think it's a really cool car. Excellent. So we're gonna come back for the rest. Okay. <laughs> So we're okay. Drove the uh, hybrid, the plug-in hybrid, and now the electric. Right. So three different variants, and uh, here we have a guest. Come on, John, come out of your hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so we have John Shu. He's uh, the product planner for Hyundai, uh, Hyundai Ionic. Uh, so we shared the ride with us. Uh, so thank you for sharing some time with us. And actually, pretty interesting conversation because, as you were telling us, this is a really important car for you guys, huh? Yes. Yes. Uh, well. First off, thanks for uh, letting me hitch a ride back with you guys. <laughs> we didn't want to leave you back yeah. at the ranch. No, I so. appreciate that. It's your car after <laughs> all. You know? so. <laughs> after all, you own the car pretty much. You but, the, literally, he's the product planner know, for, yeah. for the vehicles. But you're, you're definitely right. With the Ionic Electric, we see big opportunities for us uh, in this space. Um, electric vehicles are becoming more prevalent, and uh, the customer acceptance of these vehicles is now it's what three percent of the industry that well alternative hybrid, powertrain yeah. vehicles yeah alternative powertrains so hybrid plug-in hybrid and electric cars uh, electric vehicles are about two point nine percent of uh, all new vehicle sales so it's going to take a while to develop into a more mainstream uh, alternative but as we can see I mean there are more options every it is time. an option yeah. right well they also make a hydrogen fuel cell yeah. yes which they have Tucson right yes yeah the Tucson yes which I think is cool and of course they're the future could include compressed natural gas or even diesel. It depends what their market, I'm sure they do a ton of market study to find out what consumers want. And it's a huge investment because you don't want to get it wrong. Absolutely. What's your numbers there with the- Oh, well, let's see. This car has a range of 124? 124 miles, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's so, take a look at the numbers here. So the EV numbers, 95 well, miles We still have 95, left. we can go a long way still. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep driving. Uh, yeah. And let's see. How, how good is my eco charging here? Let's see, so the big thing there is the energy consumption. Mm -hmm. We're averaging 5.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a little bit of reference um, that's uh, none of the other cars get anywhere near four uh, miles per kilowatt hour. So. Is this our exit? Yes. Okay. I'm glad you were paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> One of us has to. There's so, many, so much stuff here. I know. I love a lot of information trying to make you a better driver. So going back, uh, she was being very efficient or not so efficient? So uh, very efficient. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. I would say anyone I'll that say rides it. with me would say, <laughs> you don't drive efficiently, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, I'm a lead foot with gasoline powered car or a diesel vehicle. But it's a nice change of pace. It's nice to know how, how much it's evolved. Yeah. Since our early vehicles. Mm -hmm. Certainly a change of pace. And of course we're in California. Where it's warm and sunny all the time. <laughs> we didn't to turn there. Yeah. No. Oh, so we did can make a U-turn. Okay. You can make a Miami U-turn. <laughs> or a New York U-turn. Whenever you can. <laughs> what is a Miami or New York U-turn? Wherever. I mean, wherever. Wherever. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> like this. Good turning radius, by the way. Yeah. This is our turn, which would have been really difficult to make anyhow because of yeah. this is our right turn here. Yeah. I think hybrids are very common around here and then the, the super fast charging stations from charge point and they do make they are probably one of the That was my last point that I was gonna yeah. make. We're gonna eventually we're gonna need a lot of more infrastructure. Mm -hmm. But the technology is here and I guess it's gonna take some time uh, for the industry to adapt to that and also for the drivers to really get used to change the gas anxiety for electric anxiety right. rates, right? Yes. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a learning curve. I think the more you educate the consumer on anything, on yeah. any alternative or more anything in life, then they know. Otherwise, they really don't know. They go by rumor, hearsay, 
Nowadays, with all those trends that are going social media. Well, everything's social media, as we all know. Yeah. Well, it's not really social media. It's just social media. Yeah. 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 Yeah.